breaks and I'm burned by the morning light I'll make the same mistake more than twice Same song, but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance You take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you, but I know I got a lot to prove They think we're too damaged to fix, but we're just working through a little rust They like to say we're just young, but I know we won't give this up Sometimes I lose my mind Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Mary Smart Kenya. In case you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that anytime I post any new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. And for my returning family, thank you so much and welcome back to this channel. For the new subscribers, thank you so much guys for subscribing and welcome to this family. For my premier gang, thank you so much guys for always being here. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for interacting with me. I really appreciate you and welcome back to this channel. It's around 6.40 a.m. and I'm going to be doing my green groceries from the market. So now let's go together and see how it goes. Welcome back. Finally, I'm home. I want to show you whatever I got from the market. Honestly speaking, I think this is the best, best decision I've ever made. Uh, I was told by a friend of mine, she's called Noni, she told me to go to Wakulima Market before 7 a.m. And I'm going to be getting things at wholesale prices, most of them, very cheap prices. Yes, so the first thing that I got are these green capsicum. Imagine this is a kg and it was going for a hundred bob. This is a lot because in the normal market that you go to, I buy this at 15 shillings. Yes. So you can do the math. This is over. How many pieces? There are so many. So that's what I got. And then I got some coriander leaves. These were going for 20 shillings. Honestly, this is a lot compared to what we get normally. I think I'm going to be mixing everything. And then for the fruits, I have some popo, and each was going for 30 shillings. And then I got some omena. This was around 150 shillings. I've really missed omena. And then, hey, I really love this. These are bananas, and each was going for 8 shillings. And you can see the size, it's so big. Personally, I prefer buying uh, unripe. I prefer buying unripe fruits because of the way we are going to be carrying them. Like this one, he gave me ripe one, and as you can see, it's it's already messed up in a, somehow. And then I got avocados, and each was going for twenty shillings. I got four pieces, and then. I also got a watermelon. It's so huge. This was going for this was going for two hundred. A medium size was going for one fifty. And then I got the pineapples. Each was going for eighty shillings, and I got two pieces. I also got a uh, ginger. Each, uh, this was half a kg at 70 shillings and for one piece it was going for 30 shillings so I preferred taking half a kg and then I got this uh, this are uh, garlic it was going for 15 shillings where we buy it at this other market close to our home we buy each at 30 shillings or 25 for the small size 
And then I got some French beans. I'm planning to do a recipe with French beans and I've really missed eating French beans. This was a half a kg at 50 shillings. And then I got the lemons. They were going for, I think, 5 shillings each because these ones are for 40 shillings and they are 8, eight or 9. They are 9 pieces. And then I got this. I think, oh yeah, it's called an eggplant. These were for 50 shillings. It was half a kg. These were also for 50 shillings. They are project. And then I got some packages. Each was going for 40 shillings. And I got two pieces. And then I got some mangoes. Each was 20 shillings. And this is the size. The, and this is the size. The normal size that we get, uh, we get three, the small size, at 100 bob. And then I got some chilies. These were discounts from the person who I bought the French beans, the... Um, Okay, the green pepper, the eggplant, and the rest. So give me this as a discount. And the mangoes I got for 200 bob. Yes. So that's what I got from the market. And then I also went to the butchery. I want to show you what I got. From the butchery, I got some meat. Two kgs meat. And for the meat, I get a kg at 400. Sometime back, sometime back, I used to make samosas for sale at my workplace when I was employed, before I started doing cakes. So I used to buy my meat at wholesale price and the, I, st I still buy my meat at wholesale price. So I got two kgs at, I got two kgs at 800. And then I also got some, Minced meat, and I got two chicken. I used to buy at 550, but they told me that there's some shortage of chicken, so now I was getting a Kenyaji chicken at 600. Personally, I don't like broilers because I don't know how to bake broilers. This is going to last me for like at least two weeks. It's, it's around, if I'm not wrong. All this is going to last me with the other shopping that I had posted earlier for the supermarket. I think it's going to last us not less than three weeks. Next, I want us, uh, we're going to be washing everything. I show you how I store my veggies. Whatever I'm supposed to be cooking, we cook. And then we store everything. It's hard to find the reason why you stay by my side. You
for my chicken i usually wash with lemons because i hate that key that key chicken taste and smell I want to boil our chicken and I'm going to be using uh, three cubes ginger and garlic paste and then I'm going to be using lemon juice spices I'm going to be using uh, turmeric like a teaspoon and then I'm going to be using chicken masala. Masala. Salt to taste. I'm going to be adding some spring onions. And then I'm going to be boiling this on the jiko. I want to wash the fruits and vegetables and I'm going to be adding some vinegar. The purpose and the avocados, they're not yet ripe. So now I'm going to be storing this and I'm going to be using these fridge organizers. So, because I've not bought much for the eggplant and the lemons. Don't wrap them. But for the but for, for the green capsicum, it's a lot, so I'm going to be I'm going to be wrapping them with that film. And this is, and this is how okay, this container has a separator. So on this other side I have the eggplants and this other side I have the I have the nini. I have the lemons. So, but if you, you are storing everything and they're the same, you don't need the separator. You just remove it because it, it's removable. For the bananas, I didn't wash them because if you wash them, they ripen up very fast. So for this, I didn't wash. So I'm just going to be storing them. For the green capsicum, they're not dry kabisa so i'm going to be wiping them with the kitchen paper towel after wiping them i'm going to be covering them with a, with a clean film before i store them in the container let's take it slow 
where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it This is how I've wrapped everything and I still have some more space around this place. I want to store the rest of the foods. Here, the foods that have not that are not yet ripe. For the mangoes. I'm also going to be storing them here until they're well ripe because they're very hard. Because when I go to buy fruits, I don't like buy ripe ones. Otherwise, they will reach home with their when, when they're mashed, smashed, smashed, mashed. I don't know. For the pepper, I'm going to be storing them here where we have the lemons. I'm going to be putting this in the fridge. For the watermelon, I'm going to be slicing the watermelon. Wrap with a cling film and then store in the fridge. So I'm going to be eating them tonight. You ask me how we got here Cause you don't know how You say we're taking on water Yeah, we're sinking now You're looking all concerned Like we're gonna drown But we both know how to swim No worries, let's go for now Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to and they... For the coriander leaves, I wash them let them dry and then uh, cut and then put them in a tin but I make sure I line the tin with a kitchen paper towel. You hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we... To this I'm going to be adding a ginger and garlic so that they can go and blend. Here, I've already sorted the omena, so whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to be soaking my omena in hot water and then after this, I'm going to be showing you. Meanwhile, as the omena is soaking, we're going to be making our dinner. I'm using boiling water to soak the omena. And then I'm going to be putting this aside. For the rice, I'm going to be adding some salt. I used two, two cups rice and four cups water. And then I'm going to be covering this. And when it's almost done, I'm going to be adding some coconut cream. And here, I want to we make our stew. I'm going to be heating our cooking oil. Then I'm going to be adding our onion. On this pot, this is where I boiled our beef, and there we have our omena soaking. Onions are golden brown. I'm going to be adding our green capsicum, carrot. We add our tomato paste. I'm going to be using two cubes paprika, beef masala, just kidogo, turmeric, and finally black pepper.
And then I'm going to be adding our boiled beef. After this, I'm going to be covering this for like three minutes to allow our spices to cook well. After that, we are going to be adding our French beans. When your rice is almost dry, we are going to be adding our coconut cream. And then you wait for your water to dry. As for our stew, we are going to be adding our French beans. I know I'm not easy. I try to out your mind. And there are days I hate you, but baby, you're still mine. And now I have the best times, no matter what. Then add our beef stock. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it. And then you let and then we cook for like we simmer for like five minutes because I love my French beans to be crunchy but well cooked. Our food is ready. So now I'm going to be plating our food and then we enjoy. Now I want to deep fry omena. Personally, I don't know how to eat fresh omena. I prefer mine deep fried, and um, I've just added some salt to spice it up, and then I'm going to toss it. until the salt is well spread and then after this I'm going to be deep frying our cooking oil is hot Our menu is ready.
empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off I am through Oh, my name is ready and this is how it looks like so now i'm going to be waiting for it to cool and then i pack them in the containers i had already put uh, the the chicken and the beef in the fridge and then i remember that i had not shown you how i store everything and this is how i store my chicken beef and omena and then it's very very easy when i'm preparing my meals because i have already pre i have already pre-boiled my chicken and beef so now guys we've come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching till now thank you so much for your support if you're not subscribed please subscribe and make sure you like this video comment and tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel until next time bye bye